Hello, everyone. Welcome to Build End-to-End -End Solutions with Vertex AI. My name is Sarah Robinson. I'm a developer advocate on the Google Cloud team focused on machine learning, and you can find me on Twitter at srobtweets. I'm going to be talking about Vertex AI, which is new. It was just announced earlier today. So I'll start by giving you an overview of what Vertex AI is. Then I'll talk about how you can use Vertex AI tools to streamline your machine learning model development process. We'll look at productionizing ML workflows with pipelines. And finally, we'll end on some tools you can use to monitor your deployed machine learning models. So to start, what is Vertex? Vertex is a managed machine learning platform that can help practitioners accelerate their experiments and deploy machine learning models. But how does this fit into a typical application development workflow? So Vertex AI will sit at your application backend, giving you all the tools you need to build, train, and deploy machine learning models. Your application logic will talk to these deployed models, getting predictions, and surfacing those predictions to end users. Those end users could be in an offline on-device use case, or they could be desktop or mobile clients. And what's all included in Vertex? So these are all the products that are part of Vertex AI. As I mentioned, they can take you through your entire machine learning workflow from gathering data to deploying and monitoring your models. And I'm going to be talking about a few of these products in this talk today. I'll be highlighting tools that focus on these parts of a machine learning process. So we'll look at tools to help you gather your data, train your model. Then we'll go to how to deploy models to endpoints. We'll look at streamlining workflows with pipelines. And finally, we'll look at some monitoring tools. Just a quick note that Vertex AI supports both UI-based and code-based model development. While I'll be focusing mostly on the UI in this session, note that all of the functionality that I'll be covering has equivalent SDK methods. So you can implement everything I'm showing programmatically. Now we're going to look at how you can use Vertex AI to streamline your model development. And when I'm working with customers and external users, the first question I'll typically ask is, do you have your own training data? If the answer is no, we have a set of pre-trained APIs that give you access to machine learning models for common tasks like analyzing images and analyzing text. All you need to do is send a simple REST API request. For the duration of this presentation, I'm going to focus on the right side of this flowchart. I'm going to assume that you do have custom data available, and you want to use that custom data to train a machine learning model custom to your prediction task. So if that's the case, the next question to ask is, are you writing this model code yourself? And whether the answer is yes or no, we have tools to help you train your models on Vertex AI. Let's take a look. So how does model development work in Vertex AI? I've split this into three steps, gathering your data, then choosing the training method you'll be using, and then finally deploying your model, whether you're deploying it offline on device to an endpoint for online serving or running batch predictions. Let's start with gathering data. And for this, we have a product called Managed Datasets. With Managed Datasets, you upload your data. First, you choose the type of data you'll be working with. And then from there, you'll choose the prediction task that you'll be solving. If your data doesn't fit into any of these use cases, don't worry at all. You can still train and deploy your models with Vertex AI. Once you've got your data ready, the next step is to choose your training method. One option for this is AutoML. AutoML lets you train custom machine learning models without requiring you to write any machine learning code of your own. Vertex AI will handle finding the optimal model architecture for your prediction task and giving you access to state-of-the-art machine learning models. Once your model is trained, you get access to detailed model evaluation metrics, and you also get feature attributions, which are powered by Google Cloud's explainable AI. Feature attributions tell you which features in your model signaled your model's predictions the most. This helps you get a little bit more insight into how your model is performing under the hood. The other option for training your models is to use custom training. With custom training, you can train models using a framework of your choice, and you can either use one of the pre-built containers we have available or package your model training code as a Docker container and use the custom container option for training. With either of these, custom training lets you run distributed training jobs and also gives you access to accelerate your training with GPUs. Using custom training, you can also take advantage of hyperparameter tuning to run multiple trials of your training jobs in parallel to find the optimal hyperparameters for your task. So once you've got a trained model, you'll likely want to deploy it to an endpoint. And whether you've trained your model with AutoML or with your own custom model code, all endpoints in Vertex AI show up in the same place in your console and are accessible via the same API. 
You can split your traffic between models once you've deployed them to an endpoint. So this is really useful if you want to do something like A-B testing, or maybe you want to roll out a new model update incrementally to some of your users. You can also customize the machine type where your model is deployed. So I've talked about how you can go from raw data to deployed model. But in a real world scenario, there will be many teams solving a lot of different prediction tasks across your organization. And we need a way to manage this process. For that, we'll use the practice of MLOps. So what is MLOps? MLOps is a practice that defines processes to make your machine learning development more reliable and productive. It can help you standardize your machine learning systems so that multiple teams and people across your organization can reproduce those systems rapidly and reliably. Vertex AI has a variety of tools to help with MLOps. They're highlighted here in blue, and I'm gonna go into a few of them in this presentation. Before I do that, let's look quickly at how MLOps fits into a typical application development workflow. So once you have a deployed model, you have users generating new predictions on that model. You wanna make sure that your model is still performing as you'd expect, and then you may wanna feed those new predictions into your model, train a new version of your model, redeploy it, and start this process again. The first MLOps product I'll introduce is Vertex Feature Store. Vertex Feature Store is a centralized repository of feature data, which means that your feature engineering work can be shared across teams. So let's take a look at what problem this solves. And to do this, let's imagine that you have one team in your organization that's building a model to predict whether or not somebody's going to return an item that they've purchased. Now let's say one of the features that is input to this model is a windowed aggregation of purchase data. Now imagine that you have another team in your organization that's solving an entirely different task, but they're also computing this windowed aggregation. If these two teams aren't talking to each other and there's no centralized repository for your feature data, they're going to be wasting time and effort by computing the same feature twice. So this is one of the problems that's solved by Feature Store. Feature Store also lets you serve your machine learning features at scale with low latency. And finally, it alleviates the problem of training serving skew, which happens when the way that you compute features at training differs from how you're doing it at serving time. With Vertex Feature Store, you only compute your feature values once, and then you reuse them for training and serving. Feature Store also lets you track and monitor for drift and other quality issues. Next, we'll look at how you can productionize your machine learning workflows with pipelines. Before I dive in, a quick note that a deployed machine learning model is only the beginning of your ML process. Once your model is deployed, you want to make sure to avoid things like concept or model drift, which can happen when the environment around your model changes. And pipelines can help automate this retraining workflow. We believe that pipelines are the backbone of production machine learning systems. And by pipelines, we mean your end-to-end -end machine learning workflow broken up into distinct steps for each task along the way. And these steps are also referred to as components. To build pipelines, we're introducing Vertex Pipelines, which is new today. Vertex Pipelines is a managed service that lets you build pipelines with familiar open source pipeline frameworks like TensorFlow Extended, TFX, or Kubeflow Pipelines. It's automated, scalable, and cost-effective, so you pay only for what you use. What we're looking at here is a pipeline graph. And in the Vertex Pipelines console, you can inspect each individual step of your pipeline. Each step of the pipeline will generate an associated artifact that's fed into the next step. All of these artifacts are stored in a central storage location. And right in the console, you can click into individual steps see the associated artifacts that were generated from that step, and you can also track these artifacts that were generated across separate pipeline runs. With Vertex Pipelines, you can also add conditional logic to your pipeline. So let's say that you only want to redeploy a model if that model's accuracy is above a certain threshold. So you can add logic like that or whatever type of logic you'd like to your pipeline. You can also store metadata for every artifact that's produced by the pipeline. And as I mentioned before, you can track artifacts across your machine learning workflows. Finally, we'll look at how you can use Vertex AI to monitor your deployed models. First, an important distinction between MLOps and DevOps. So unlike with traditional programming, your model may not be performing as you would expect it to, even if that prediction code still works. The environment around your model may have changed in such a way that it's not performing predictions correctly. So this is known as drift. And we need a way to continuously monitor our models 
to catch when this happens. For that, we're introducing Vertex Model Monitoring, which is new today. With model monitoring, you can automatically alert your data scientists and ML engineers when model performance changes. To do this, you create a monitoring job, and within that job, you define an objective. Once your job is kicked off, you'll be alerted whenever performance goes below a certain threshold. You can use model monitoring to detect things like drift and training serving skew. So rather than manually checking to make sure your model is still performing correctly, this provides confidence in model reliability because you'll be alerted anytime something changes. I covered a lot of different products in this presentation. So just to recap, I showed how you can use Vertex AI throughout your machine learning workflow. We started by looking at how you can use Vertex to gather data, build, and train your models. Then we looked at how you can scalably deploy your model to endpoints. Then we talked about how you can automate your machine learning workflows with pipelines. And finally, we looked at tools for monitoring your machine learning models to make sure they're still performing as expected and retraining them if they are not. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the sessions at Google I.O. And to get started with Vertex AI and dive right into the Vertex console, head over to cloud.google.com slash vertex AI. Finally, we have a couple of events coming up where you can learn more and get hands on with Vertex AI. The first is at the Google Cloud Data Summit on May 26th. And the second is at the Google Cloud ML Practitioner Summit on June 10th. To register, head over to the link on the slide. Thanks for watching.